Today is the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time Cycle Week. Next week will be the last Sunday of the church's liturgical year, which ends with the Feast of Christ the King. Actually, it's really the return of the King. As we come to the end of the liturgical year, we are reminded that Christ will come again to judge the living and the dead. We do not know the day nor the hour, and therefore we must be prepared at all times. Are you prepared? When was the last time you use the sacrament of reconciliation. The church recommends we should attend that sacrament at least once a year. On December the 20th, Monday, we have confessions in all three languages in the parish starting at 7.30 p.m. The readings from the book of Daniel and from the Gospel of Mark are classified apocalyptic, which means it relates to prophecies at the end of time. Apocalyptic literature is usually addressed to a suffering people, although it is meant to give hope. It contains lots of death and destruction. The book of Daniel was composed in two eras. Today's reading is taken from the book of Daniel when it was composed when the nation, the Jewish nation, was being persecuted by Antiochus Epiphanes the fourth, the Jewish king. He wanted to eliminate the Jewish religion, forbid them to any type of work and burn all their literature. However, in that apocalyptic writing, it predicted victory by God over the enemies of Israel with the help of Michael the Archangel. Judas Maccabeus defended the Jewish people and Antiochus Epiphany IV died without eliminating the Jewish religion. God was and is faithful to his promise to perfend, to protect and defend his loyal servants even when the enemy appears to be victorious, when the enemy appears to have the upper hand. Jesus' word, Jesus' words brought great comfort to the community of Mark, which was being severely persecuted by both the Jewish and Roman leaders. Days of tribulation, he mentions. The sun darkened, etc., etc. The Romans destroyed Jerusalem and the temple built by Herod in the year 70 C, that AD, in the year of Christ, which ended the persecution of the Christians by Jewish authorities. However, the Roman Emperor Nero in 64 CE had started a persecution of Christians which took the lives of Peter and Paul. The persecution by the Roman Empire lasted until 313 CE when Constantine became emperor. The book of Revelation which is another example of apocalyptic literature, 
was written about the year 96 CE. Although there is a lot of death and destruction in apocalyptic literature, there is hope because the victory of the just is always predicted based on our firm belief that God will win in the end. It is amazing that the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation were able to predict confidently victory for the just well before the end of the persecutions. And when the persecutors appear to have the upper hand, Jesus' words in the gospel today reminds us that the gates of hell will not prevail against his church. They do not say that the church will not be attacked, nor that the church will not suffer. But it will never be defeated. Upon his return in glory, Jesus with his angels will gather his elect from those who are faithful to his teachings from all the ends of the earth. There is no doubt that our present world is in chaos and a major war can erupt suddenly and unexpectedly. There appears to be so much evil in our midst. However, we must not lose hope. Christ's victory on the cross guarantees that in the end, the faithful will never be vanquished. Keep on proclaiming the gospel. Keep on living the gospel. With God on our side, we will and can change the world.